So just hours ago here in the UK, our Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced strict national lockdown policies, which means from now on, you can't go to work, you can't leave your house except for essential services, and our schools are closed indefinitely. This is actually a stricter lockdown than we saw back in March, when we had no idea what this virus was, and we were expecting a half a million deaths here in the UK, thanks to our friends at Imperial College and their models. This is stricter now because this has all of the March restrictions plus travel restrictions as well. They kind of slid that one underneath. So now you're not allowed to travel and you have to stay in your home and you can't work and the schools are now closed. But the big kicker that a lot of us miss during the announcement was Boris's use of two words. He said this will be for at least six weeks, at least six weeks, which is politician code for this is going to last for months and months and months. And we're now being prepared slowly to have all of our human rights and freedoms being taken away. That's what's happening right now. And again, it's done under the auspices of protect the NHS, which is disrespecting the NHS every time you use that term because you're trying to use a guilt trip full of statistics that aren't true to get us to change our behavior and give away our human freedoms and civil liberties. Our children now don't have the option of going to school and we are effectively locked in our houses now to prevent the spread of a virus when even the officials at the WHO say lockdowns don't prevent the spread of the virus. If you thought the madness could go any further, well, think no more because it's gone even further. And now we don't know when it's gonna stop. Again, at least six weeks. So they're talking about a date of February 15th, but I think we all know that that's probably not gonna bring any changes. So we're gonna get have to get used to this new normal. And this is not what people wanna hear. It's January, it's cold, it's dark. We're getting up to what's been called the uh, saddest day of the year. It's somewhere around mid to late January. And now we're being told to self-isolate and go back through the whole process that we went through a year ago. Let me ask you a question. 10 months ago in March, when they asked you to lock down for two weeks, did you ever imagine that 10 months in the future, it would be worse? So let me ask you another question. 10 months from now, and that would make it what, November, is it gonna be worse than this? That's my question to you. And does it have to be? And if we stay locked down, what is this gonna to do to our economy? How will we fund our NHS? How will we educate our children? How will we build our future? How will we make sure that Britain remains a global power? Uh, this isn't the way. So please leave me your comments below. Tell me if you think lockdown this national strictest lockdown we've ever seen is the right thing to you? Do you think we should be locked in our homes? Do you think we should be told not to send our kids to school? I wanna know your thoughts. My thoughts are, it's not complicated. The science shows us what we can do. The science says that we should make a proportionate response to the virus, which means protect the elderly, but enable those that are healthy and fit to go out there and do what we do as humans. Um, we need leadership, we need innovation, we need people that don't react, we need people that listen to the citizens and act accordingly. I've been saying this and I'm gonna keep saying it until we actually show some change. I believe that the nine million citizens in London can show the world how we can run a city effectively, not in fear, but with innovation, with education and with solutions. I'm confident we can do this and every single citizen I meet is with me on this and they do not agree with our current politicians. They believe they have lied to us and they have failed us and I believe that's true. It's time to take us in a new direction. Leave me your thoughts.